All right, so listen to the sweet sound of bullshit. I'm gonna explain the science as to why this is probably not necessary and borderline harmful. Actually, it is harmful. Uh, in a minute, just listen to this. This is what bullshit sounds like. Part of my journey. 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 Oh, you're doing great. So what this lady is doing is called instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, which is a form of manual therapy that some people call Graston or Gasha. There's no indication that it should be painful. Actually, if you look at this meta-analysis, which is one that showed that it was useful for pain and maybe disability and range of motion, used mostly studies where it was done pain-free. Like they weren't looking to cause pain like this lady is. Uh, this is kind of nonsense. I just want to specify that this meta-analysis uses studies that are of poor to fair quality. So they're at best like not that good. So I wouldn't use it as a indication that you should get that form of therapy, especially not painful like that or uh, that it's great, you know, I think we need more evidence and the evidence right now is really terrible and biased for it to work, right? I think more rigorous studies where we compare it to an actual treatment or an actual real placebo don't really show good effects, but that's beyond the purpose of this post. Actually, the only indication that I could find in literature that suggested that going into pain during manual therapy treatment, so hands-on treatment, was beneficial is this study that shows a slight edge at three months, but not at seven weeks and only in men and it was only for mild adverse events. So that means like you had a little bit more pain or a little bit of a headache, nothing bad. It was like one to three out of 10 in terms of pain. <laughs> if you listen to the scream of the guys. Part of my journey. Part of my journey. Part of my journey. Part of my journey. Ouch! Ow! Fuck! Ow! 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 Ow!
I'm not gaslighting you, that does happen, but it's not because we're breaking tissue, it's just because it relaxes. That goes away quickly after. There's a Cromer paper from 2015 that shows that it lasts three minutes, right? If you just stand on the table, the tension comes back. So it does happen, just not for the reasons they think, and that's why you don't need to press that hard. That's completely stupid. You're chasing a white dragon, and that white dragon hurts for no reason. By the way, if you don't know what fascia is and you don't know what I've been talking about the whole time, this is what it looks like. It's connective tissue and it's really, really freaking solid. Like, we can't break that with their hands. The reason she's pushing that hard is because in her mind, she's removing trauma from the fascia, which is a bullshit idea based on the fascial unwinding theory. Sorry for the screams. Uh, so it's nonsense. Let's just look at it a little bit. Never let your therapist do that to you, by the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's, that's medical abuse, straight up. Sorry, allegedly, I mean, allegedly, don't sue me. This 2009 paper by Vinazny is one of the rare papers that tries to bring science into this pseudo-scientific belief that uh, trauma is stored in the fascia and that we can actually have an effect on that that's meaningful with our hands. So the unwinding theory suggests that during manual therapy, the mechanical receptors in your skin, muscles, tendons, and fascia are stimulated, which in turn activates the parasympathetic, so the relaxation mode, as opposed to the fight or flight mode of your nervous system, to find an easier and more relaxed uh, position and tone your muscles, which as a side effect can make you relive parts of the trauma as a side effect. Uh, you know, emotional trauma that you lived as a kid that was stored in the fascia. But even this paper that puts the theory into words says that additional evidence and testable hypotheses are required to move the concept beyond the realm of what is often considered to be pseudoscience. So it is still pseudoscience at that point. And it doesn't seem like much has changed since 2009. I really, really look for papers that supported the theory of unwinding or that we can release trauma with our hands. And it doesn't seem like much has changed. Paul and Graham, uh, which is a great source, came to the same conclusion in 2021. I know it's not peer reviewed, but Paul and Graham's a great source, so this blog post will do. In summary, if you're getting significant amounts of pain during manual therapy or massage, tell your therapist to take it easy because it's not medically nor scientifically advisable as far as the current body of literature goes someone is pushing into pain the way that person was doing, leave, report them. This is medical abuse. There's no indication to do that. It's probably going to make the treatment worse. And they're not releasing the fascia from the trauma or breaking adhesions. It's nonsense. I'm Alexi, the no bullshit physio. And that, that treatment out there earned the certified stamp of bullshit. Bullshit. Thank you for watching. Peace out.